Hello there, uh, welcome. Uh, this is an unboxing video which I haven't done for quite some time. Uh, we'll come back to, to Modelbox. Uh, I did one of these, the last one of these I did was June 2019, I think. Uh, I have a playlist for all of these. Um, but yeah, it's been over a year. Um, this was very kindly sent to me by George from Model Box, but the opinion of the box will be my own. Um, I reached out to him. I'm trying to build this sort of YouTube gig uh, and also um, mostly over on Twitch doing painting streams and tabletop gaming streams and a bit of D&D &D and things like that. Um, so I asked if he would uh, be willing to sort of, you know, help. And, and he very kindly sent me this to uh, to maybe do a bit of an unboxing and maybe paint some of it up online. Uh, I'm assuming there'll be models in here that I can do and paint them up on Twitch and also promote promote the, uh, the, the box a little bit. But like I say, uh, the things inside, I'll talk about whether they're relevant to me or not. Um, so let's go through it. So um, what is Model Box? Model Box is a subscription box. Um... Uh, that contains hobby miniature hobby type materials so paints paintbrushes miniatures terrain um, uh, basing materials even dice uh, all sorts of little pieces in there and I'm trying to remember all the ones I got back well over a year ago when I was paying for the subscription I, I may well very much do the same again um, but uh, yes uh, lots of things over the over the years including unique miniatures that George, uh, the guy who owns the company, um, gets commissioned himself, and they are um, the foxes. Which, if you go on the yourmodelbox.com, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of uh, rocks foxes that are all different themed and different types. But yeah, let's crack this open and and take a look, shall we? So I believe the theme is wasteland. Now, what I try to do is not they used to, and I'm going to assume there's still a piece of card in here that's going to tell me all the all the goodies that are in there. And I'm not going to look at that until the end, because we don't want spoilers. But every every box is themed, and I believe this theme is wasteland. So we're gonna we're gonna quickly. Sorry, don't wait. Don't look. Don't look. Don't don't look. So here we go. Oh. So the first thing that's changed for me is the black tissue paper. This used to be shredded, and now it's more of a cover. So it looks very nice when you sort of get in there. It looks very sort of uh, secretive. Bit of ASMR for those listening. Me taking tissue paper off. Okay. We actually went behind my head. <laughs> right, the first thing we have in here is, let's have a look one by one. We have the Fallout wasteland warfare and i got the brotherhood of steel power armor so the other nice thing is your model box might have something slightly different it might still be from the fallout range but it could potentially be from a, it could potentially be a different model rather than everyone getting the same and we'll have a look on the paperwork sometimes that normally tells you i was going to see if i could bust it open but it looks like i've got to un unpeel it but it is quite coolly the very classic power armor from the game Fallout. So that's really nice. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool miniature. I don't play the actual game myself, but the miniature could be used in many things. Okay, look, we actually do have. Oh, so this isn't a rocks. This is something else. This is something new. So this is going to be something that's commissioned for the guys at Model Box. And then obviously you get it in your box. And it used to always be the fox. So let's see how things have changed. I got, oh look at this guy, he's a cool looking, let me just tap the focus on this a little bit, there we go, we've got a nice little, um, not little, he's a 28mm, putrefied, toxic waste uh, monster, he looks a bit like the guy who got hit by the car in Robocop, when he got all the uh, toxic waste on him, but that's cool, that will definitely get used. Um, we got another miniature. So this is from Crooked Dice. Let's open it up and have a look. Okay, and this is a this is a sort of post-apocalyptic um, dude in some makeshift armor with a pretty hefty gun there uh, that just needs cutting and attaching to his body. 
So it's a two-piece model. Uh, I think it's in focus. Yeah, there we go. It's quite cool. So what we'll probably do is take one of these miniatures and paint it up on stream. At the moment, I'm feeling like we're going to do this guy. So um, I'll stick a link in below to my Twitch stream. If you want to come over and give me a follow, um, probably tomorrow we're going to paint this guy up on stream. Okay. Ah, this is perfect. I actually needed some tufts. I am doing... Um, Dracula's America at the moment. I'm painting miniatures, but that's what I'm surrounded by on my table. Um, and I needed some dried out um, tufts. And that's what we have here. So some good old brown dry tufts for your basing. Doesn't say who it's from, but I'm sure that'll be on the card. Right, we then got some paints. Give this a shake. We got Acid Green from Instar Paints. I'm seeing more and more of this company in star. Uh, I do actually have a few of the paints through Modelbox. So I've had them for for a couple of years now. Um, and I think they're going from strength to strength. These guys, I think, are promoting very similar blending um, to the GW paints. But obviously, nicely in the dropper bottles. Um, and rust brown. So that's very good as well. So they're quite two nice colours, that. Especially because one of the other things I'm painting at the moment is Necrons. And a couple of good shades of green, especially that's a very necrony shaded green, very fluorescent-y. And then a rust brown, which you can always use for pretty much everything. So that's really nice. And a couple of sweets, a couple of sherbet straws. George and the, uh, uh, the well, it's, I think it's still him and his wife that run the company, uh, always like to put in some sweets into the box so you've got something to chew on or eat whilst you uh, keep your hobby going, keep your sugar levels going. Right, so let's look at the card now, because that's everything in the box. And then I'll cover some more about the whole thing anyway. So yeah, the box is monthly. Um, it is uh, $24.99 for the box, plus your shipping, wherever you may be. Uh, but if you sign up for 12 months, you can actually get that box reduced to £21.99, um, so that you, know, you save some money. Um, I will stick a link in below, which is like a... Um, like a coupon link so if you use that uh, you can save a few pounds as well i believe but yeah so let's jump into the card so august it is the wastelands box uh, the first guy we've got we can start either way was the brotherhood of steel power armor fought out by modifius so yes we know that um so i think everyone got the power armor so if you got this box or let's say uh, focus that in if you got this box you would have got this guy here and as you can see that's what he looks like when he's made he's only a what's he like a four three four part model nice and easy and then some classic army painter tufts thought i recognized them they're just not in the usual packet um but yeah classic tufts from army painter two paints from in style paints uh so you, by the looks of because it says two times you definitely could have got different ones in yours. So I got the acid green and the rust brown. Uh, there was a pure black on the picture, but I'm going to assume um, you could have got anything in the box. And then there's a mutant in the wastelands of the apocalypse, roam the survivors and the cursed souls who may have had their bodies mutated beyond belief. There we go. Inspired, well, yes, he has got, so he's got inspired by movies of like the Goonies. Uh, yes, he does look a bit like Sloth. Sloth love chunk. Um, and then we've got The Sentinel and Lovely Jane by Crooked Dice. Crooked Dice features the first time a model I've been meaning to include for them for a long time. So from games like 7TV, which you can, um, if you go and look at the range from Crooked Dice in the 7TV game, it's pretty much everything you can think of from your um, cult TV shows and all the rest of it. Uh, cult movies, cult TV. So that's really cool. Excellent. So yeah, that's the box. We'll quickly recap it so you can see it again. Uh, we got the Fallout Wasteland Power Armor, which is a very cool model. Even if I wasn't collecting this, the Power Armor from Fallout is pretty iconic. Um, so even if I just put this together, paint it and have it on display, uh, I've done that with the, the Skyrim miniature, for instance. I don't plan on playing the Skyrim tabletop game, but of course the Dover King from that game is pretty iconic. So it's a pretty cool miniature to have. And, and this is pretty much the same. This is like a, yeah. Most people will recognize the Fallout Power Armor. 
Uh, we then got the mutant, who I think is super cool, and we'll probably paint him up tomorrow on stream. Again, I will link to where that's going to be. Let's put him in focus for you. There you go. It's a pretty cool miniature. The crooked dice, sort of war torn, post apocalyptic guy with his potentially a flamer or some sort of a combi gun there, which is pretty nice. And then our tufts, which are going to get used almost immediately because I have a need for these right now. Uh, and then a couple of paints. So there you go. So again, another reason to do it is because you'll get stuff you would never have bought. Most of us have. have our local shop is maybe a GW or, or a shop that is also a board game shop and also a hobby shop. And you're not always going to find, maybe you'll find army painter stuff there, but you're unlikely to come across Instar in those stores and, and maybe even the Fallout stuff. Uh, certainly not the Crooked Dice stuff for sure. So another reason to sort of like get into these boxes is just getting things you'd never come across. And that's quite a cool thing to do, right? It gives you... A wide, an open, wided view of the more th the the other things that are out there. So it's worth worth taking a look at. Am I happy with the box? You know what? Yes, I am. Because everything here, I am going to use, and that can't be a bad shout. So I'm absolutely starting to build um, some post-apocalyptic stuff. I'm building some terrain for that. Um, I have um, things like Walking Dead and last days and a few other games where this stuff could absolutely be used even if it was just on show as piece of terrain so even if the power armor didn't feature in the game i could paint it up and put it into the table as just a bit of a nod to something as a, as a piece of terrain um, and there's and the certainly the, the toxic um waste guy is definitely going to get used tufts like i said look i can show you i'm painting up um dracula's america at the moment whole bunch of war bands and I need some dead tufts of grass so that was perfectly timed and a couple of cool paints which I will 100% use so for me a good box and I'm very happy with it I hope you enjoyed yours um, I can't remember that I don't know if the next one's been announced yet but uh, yeah I hope you liked it I hope this is insightful to understand what model box is if you've got any questions pop them in below and I will definitely answer them uh, otherwise Thanks for watching, and I will see you potentially on the next one, or twitch.tv slash laughingboy. Come over, we'll do some painting together, we'll do some board gaming together, we'll do some art D&D, &D. we may even just play the odd video game every now and then, but certainly most of the time I'm sat here doing some painting, and you're more than welcome to join me anytime, and we can have a chat. See you later. Bye.